Four to one advancing to declining stocks. Great start to the day. Take a look at the, the sectors. Retail's doing well. Of course, Gap's moving things, but Foot Locker as well. Uh, semis, this kind of stuff you want to see moving. Banks, uh, energy, and the REITs, you know, tough time for interest rate sensitive. You know, the 10 years yield's been moving up this week. So uh, utilities were down, uh, home builders were down. They're up this morning, but uh, keep an eye on that 10-year uh, yield. Retail stocks, good week overall. Foot Locker had decent numbers. Of course, we all know about Gap splitting uh, up Old Navy there. El Brands follow through. Express is up. Asina is up uh, nicely so far. Uh, even though the d data hasn't been great, personal spending down, the retail sales numbers are not great. Still, we're getting decent numbers from most of the companies. You heard about Gap. One of the things I'll note about Gap is it's one of the big buyback monsters. I know I've been talking about buybacks a lot recently, but Gap's one of the all-time champions. Since 2010, it has bought back 42. It's reduced its share count 42%. That means all other things being equal, Gap's numbers, earnings numbers, are 42% higher than in 2010 without changing any numbers at all, any fundamentals. AutoZone, Kohl's, Lowe's, Best Buy, you see these guys, see how much stock they have been buying back, how much they've been reducing their shares, which is a more accurate way of describing what's going on here. And still, still the retailers are having problems. Meantime, we're back over 2,800. We've tried twice this week to get over 2,800 close. We haven't yet. We'll see. It's been an amazing couple of months. Look, we were up 8% in January, essentially, 3% in February. You rarely get these. These are way outside of standard deviation numbers here. So certainly we're going to be up for the fourth quarter. I can't imagine with these numbers. I don't know if we'll be up in March, but we'll certainly likely be up in the fourth quarter. Uh, I think if you want to look at the historic highs, we're getting close. I was just looking at this prior to the open. Look, we're only less than close to 2% from the Dow, the S&P 500. Uh, that doesn't even include the open today. Uh, NASDAQ, 6.5%. The Russell's a little further back. That's been a slight laggard so far this year. So the important thing is we're getting close to those old historic highs that we saw a while ago. Meantime, if you look overseas, good day. Germany's had a, a, a good couple of months uh, as well. It's up. But I want to concentrate on Shanghai and the Shenzhen composite. Another good day overall. Uh, those stocks have been moving. Those sectors have been moving on a number of factors. Number one here, uh, Shanghai overall has had a great year. It's up about 20% so far this year. Uh, originally, remember 2018, the mainland China market was very much hurt by the trade war. The market plummeted there. That's dominated by small retail investors that freak out, to be blunt about it, very easily. 2019, the trade wars have been a little less of a concern out there. On top of that, uh, yesterday we got word of MSCI, which is one of the big indexes in the world, reweighting their China mainland indices, uh, the weighting for China. Uh, and as a result, we've seen foreign investors come back into the market as well in a fairly big way. So this is what the emerging market index looks like right now. Hong Kong is 23% of that. Mainland China is 1%. China and the U.S., like Alibaba, is 6 And you see South Korea and Taiwan. What's happening here is that China number, mainland, 1%, that's going to be going up. It'll be go up to about 3%, and then eventually it will be 16% mainland China. You see what I'm saying? These index companies control the world, essentially, now. And when those indexes change, what you own in a foreign fund, a foreign mutual fund that's indexed, or a foreign ETF, is going to change the point. China is going to become a bigger part of the world. 212 points up in the Dow, right near the highs.